When you tune in to watch the Formula 1 race, the entire paddock is already filled with materials, hospitality suites and empty lorries, while the previous week, these materials were in another circuit thousands of kilometres away. In this fact checker, we will explain the gigantic logistical challenge behind Formula 1. F1 drivers, pit crews and mechanics are seen as the heroes of Formula 1. However, there is also a huge army of people behind the scenes who deserve a lot of the credit, the logistic workers, cargo drivers, pilots, shipmen, builders, planners and material carriers. Week in, week out, they make it possible for the teams to all have the equipment they need during a race weekend. Courier company DHL alone has 100 workers responsible for the transport of all general materials and partly for the teams. For every team you can add another 100 workers into the equation. In total, there are about 300 trucks that transport materials from one location to another. Not everything can be transported by road though. Sometimes transport by air needs to be arranged to get everything where it needs to be. According to DHL, there are 6 or 7 Boeing 747s available when needed. Ships are also accessible. It is estimated that 660 tons of goods are being transported by airplanes and 1,000 tons by ocean freight. Furthermore, the teams do not use the same materials every weekend. This is mainly not possible for races that require flying between two locations. That is why teams have multiple sets of tools and other general items that are used in the pit box. The set that's used typically at the Japanese Grand Prix will then travel directly to Abu Dhabi after the race weekend. And in a similar fashion, the set used in Singapore will be transported to Brazil by ship, which often takes a long time. For the more important matters like car components, engines and computers, it is necessary they travel to the upcoming Grand Prix. These parts will be transported by air, sometimes with a quick stop at the factory. This only happens when it's absolutely necessary though, and often teams bring a lot of spare parts for when something breaks and there is no time to fix it at the factory. Per season, there is an average of 180,000 kilometers covered by planes, which are mostly DHL planes. To give you an impression of how much equipment a team needs for a race weekend, let me show you this impressive list of numbers. 2,500 litres of fuel, 40 sets of tyres, 90 litres of coolant and over 200 meals. Adding up all the car components, the hospitality, the pit box and the pit wall, you will end up with 50 metric tonnes per team. And of course, there is still the material from Formula 1 itself to consider, especially the media, who must carry a lot of luggage in order to make it possible for us to laze on the couch and watch the action. About 150 tons of cameras and other things that are needed to record and film everything properly. When everything is in position and where it needs to be, sometimes a week prior to the race start, the people will get into action. They make sure everything is ready, screw things into place and sometimes erect entire buildings. Think about the gigantic parts of the Holtz house of Red Bull for example. As soon as the race and the ceremony ends, everyone gets right back into action to break everything back down again and often, the next day, everything is packed up again and ready to go. And now you know the enormous task behind the logistics of Formula 1. Did you like this video? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Next week we'll be back with a new fact checker here at GP Fans.